That's the voice of Chris Porter. I knew he'd weigh in with something important. Chris Porter, comedian. Uh, Chris Porter from Kansas City. I can tell by your garb. You like to wear a lot of KC logoed stuff. Congratulations. Mm. Yeah. That's Ace says boo. Well, Ace, Ace is wearing oh, He's got Raiders. a Raiders hat on. Yeah, yeah sure. Yeah. Yeah. AFC West, so, longtime AFL rivals, Raiders Chiefs. Oh, he, yeah. he got that when he was out robbing a liquor store without a, with the, all the other Raiders fans. <laughs> <laughs> Do control your microphone. <laughs> Ace is our engineer. That's a great way to get turned off. Uh, I do know how to turn them off. Uh, that, <laughs> <laughs> Chris, very handsome man. I like the beard. I Thank gotta you. tell you, I, I grew it myself. It's, it's growing in. <laughs> yeah, it took last time it, it was a four bit, years, but yeah. we're getting it done. <laughs> last time it was a little bit uh, halfway, but yeah, it's there now. Thank you. Do you have a girlfriend? No, newly single. Oh wow! Everything are you oh, doing I'm all right? Sorry. Yeah, it, no, it was my call. Oh, okay. It was weird. Normally, I date the crazies, and this one wasn't crazy. So it was like, <laughs> I love you. You're great. I'm out, <laughs> which is a tough. She didn't take it as well as I thought she would. Yeah, well, of yeah. course not. So, oh, um, now do you get back to Kansas City often? Or are you? Uh, do you, yeah, you live, you live in LA. Right? I do live in LA. Uh, I get back to Kansas City. I was back last April for a wedding. Okay. For a bunch of weird experiences, I become friends with Justin Verlander. He's a pitcher for the sure. Oh yeah, sure. Houston Astros. Yeah. At the time, he was pitching for the Tigers. Aaron Town playing the Royals, but they had a night off, so he and I went out and had a couple of drinks and. While we're out, he sees a young lady. He says, I think I know her. I think she's an actress. I think me and my wife hung out with her. I said, hey, man, we're in Kansas City. There's no way that chick's an actress. <laughs> she probably works at Cheesecake Factory or something. <laughs> and he said, no, watch this. He calls the waiter over. He goes, who's that chick? And he goes, well, I don't know who the chick is, but everyone at that table is Mumford and Sons. <laughs> oh. They're here playing the arena tomorrow night, and they're here having dinner. Oh, so maybe it was Carrie Mulligan. Might have been. Yeah. I don't know who it was. But he sends them a bottle on us, he says, which... Meant him, um, him, because yeah. I'm not. <laughs> listen, if you're if you're worth hundreds of millions of dollars and we're hanging out, you're buying. <laughs> yeah, sure. All right, sorry, dude. You fly private. You're That's buying drinks. Yeah. That is a good. Rule. I think it's fair. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you know, he buys drinks. It doesn't even show up on his register. I buy drinks. I can't buy shoes next month. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. He sends them a bottle. They come over. Turns out it's not Mumford and Sons. <laughs> It's just Ann's sons. <laughs> oh. Mumford wasn't there. I don't know where he was. I assume oh. he was back at the hotel writing a song that at some point goes, uh. <laughs> So <laughs> Ann's sons come over, start talking to the Detroit Tigers. I'm not really involved, so I kind of tune it all out. When I come back into focus, Ann's sons are kind of talking smack <laughs> to the Detroit Tigers about beer pong. They're like, hey, we'll whoop your butt in some beer pong. And the Detroit Tigers are like, we get paid very handsomely to put balls places. Right. <laughs> uh, bring it. <laughs> so I said, hey, fellas, my parents live about eight minutes from here. Oh, boy. We could settle this. And I said that because I know both and Sons and the Detroit Tigers have an entire floor to do whatever they want. <laughs> so there's no reason to come to my parents' house it was complete fake hospitality right? until they all turned around and looked at me and said, hell yeah, let's go to your parents' house and play beer pong. And I went, oh, crap. Because <laughs> it is now 2 o'clock on a Sunday night, oh. technically Monday morning. <laughs> yes. My parents are not gypsies. <laughs> right? They have real jobs that start in like five hours. Yes. But I also can't look at all these dudes and be like, you guys... <laughs> my parents. <laughs> so I just said, whatever, we're going to roll the dice, see what happens. Sure. So we get there. First off, as we're leaving, my sister texts me. She says, hey, I'm out and about. If you get home before I do, will you walk my dog? <laughs> I said, hey, unless you're out and about with the Dave Matthews band, you better get your butt home because it's about to go down at Ma and Pa's house. <laughs> so we get back to my parents' house, start throwing beer pong, and stuff got weird. Like weirder than I've already described. Like my sister, who is 30, yes. ended up in her prom dress. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how that happened. Oh, no. God bless her for still being able to fit in it, mm -hmm. but also <laughs> the hell, right? <laughs> so uh, we at one point in the evening, I go outside to partake in some uh, illegal activities. And uh, uh, I'm assuming the pot, not the pot, yeah, not, yes. not murder. No. <laughs> uh, well, murder. we were going to see where it went. <laughs> sure. And uh, so Ann's sons come with me. 
But uh, as it was the middle of the baseball season, the Detroit Tigers could not partake. Right. Sure. Uh, so they had to pretend like it was the playoffs and watch. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, thank you. Thank you. So, uh, read an almanac. So we came back in from smoking, and my dad's downstairs, and he's upset. He's like, what's going on down here? And I said, well, this is uh, half the Detroit Tigers bullpen. And this is Ann Sons from Mumford and Sons. <laughs> and we're playing beer pong. And it was in that moment that I realized my father was no longer sure if he was actually awake. Because uh, <laughs> you got to look at it from his point of view. He walks downstairs. It's the middle of the night. He sees a bunch of weird dudes that he kind of recognizes. And my sister's in her prom dress. <laughs> like, things are weird. Yeah. Uh, and he's just confused. He's just like, uh, uh, is that... Justin Verlander. <laughs> and I said, yes, sir, it is. He goes, I don't know what's happening right now. And he walked upstairs. That was the last we saw of him. Wow. He didn't say, is Kate here? No, no, he was just like, what? And the whole next day, I'm freaking out because my parents do a lot for me. I don't even be making them upset over some stupid... Sure. Right. So uh, when Dad gets home, I'm completely ready to take him out to dinner, buy him some drinks. And he walks in like he's had the greatest day of his life. And I say, what happened to you? And he's like, well, I woke up this morning and I hated you. <laughs> I cursed your name all the way to work. <laughs> but then I got to work and everyone started asking me why I looked so tired and exhausted. So I started complaining about my son bringing home the Detroit Tigers <laughs> and Mumford and Sons and playing beer pong all night. And now I'm the coolest dude in the office. <laughs> <laughs>